Yo, what's going on, guys? We're going to be reacting to the second finale of Season 10. Uh, this is Season 10, Episode 22. The title of the episode is called Here's Negan. This is one of the most anticipated episodes I have for the season. It's a Negan backstory episode, and I'm just super excited to get into it because I love the character Negan. I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who plays Negan. He plays Negan amazing in the show, and I think a lot of people really like his character as of right now. Kind of excited to get into the reaction. Um, I know I haven't reacted to the last two episodes. Um, I did react to them. But I just didn't even want to post them. They were just not as great episodes. I found them very, very, very boring. I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, and I'll post, like, many things. But there was not much to go off of and talk off of in the last two episodes. But within this case of this episode, we're getting a backstory episode on Negan, which is insane. We know a lot about Negan, but we also don't know, like, that much about him. And to get a backstory episode like this, it's going to be insane. Because um, I wish we had an episode like this for the governor, but we never got it. Um, but I am super excited to get into this and uh, just check out this episode of The Walking Dead. So let's get right into it. That's gotta suck. I mean, that tension is insane. I mean, Herschel doesn't have a father because of Negan. Uh oh, what is he gonna move him in here? <laughs> I love Carol so much. Damn, so they're moving Negan out. Let me in. Oh my. Negan all dressed up. <laughs> You're a clown. A cult of personality with no cult. You go ahead and you call me whatever little names you want to call me. I love this stuff, man. It's gonna be like eating at his conscience. All the stuff he done, or he, all the stuff he's did. But I have to be Rick. He was wrong. <laughs> oh my God, we're getting Rick back a little bit. I fucking miss him so much. Oh my God. He's trying to find it like a grave. The bat's back. 12 years earlier, going back. The next treatment. Some tells me these guys aren't leaving long. We drove out to where you told us those doctors gave you this stuff. Huh? Shit. <sighs> this is the start of Evil Negan. Ah, this is, I fucking love this episode already. Like, I'm falling in love with it. I have a whole episode of Jeffrey Dean Morgan. No, don't. She's back! The barcode girl! Oh my god, that's insane! So that's how they met. So you taught yourself how to give someone chemotherapy? The problems aren't that complicated. Unless something goes wrong. Six weeks earlier. So we're meeting Negan's wife for the first time. This book sucks. It's killing me. I, I, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> the mother won't let me watch James Bond. Dude, it's so crazy. So this is probably like right around the start of the apocalypse. So he's like clueless. Oh my god. This is crazy that we're getting this. Come on, seriously? Come, I wanna watch a movie. God, she's looking like she's in bad shape. I mean, that's just gotta be insane. I mean, like, your loved one is dying and there's already a world like this right now with zombies. You are so beautiful. Me. Great song. You're everything I need. <laughs> so it's like a daily thing, man. I'm just hanging out. Taste like this. Oh. I've been eating that shit all along. God damn, hell no. <laughs> I don't even think 
Rick's group was that bad at God. a point. He had to throw the dog food away from Carl. Leather okay, jacket. The, crawl space this whole time, I was... the ice machine's melting, right? Chemo's gonna be destroyed. No, 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 no. Damn. So just stop. I will figure stop. it out. Stop, Negan. I said stop. He's, he's playing video games. Oh, oh my god. This is how you get better. You gotta take it. Are you playing with children? Uh, teenagers, I think, mostly. I threw the receipt away. That asshole had it coming. That asshole had it coming. The good news is that we caught it early on. A lot of time oh, shit. Business. Oh shit. So he's lying. Okay, so we're getting like some melodrama married stuff. Cheating on her. Oh fuck. I would not want to walk through that door. <laughs> Come on. I've got cancer. About me and her, you knew this whole time. Just, you know, I, I, I broke it up with her as soon as we got your diagnosis. Time for you to go on without me. I need you to do my fighting for me. Okay? Stay. God, these two, I mean, you could just feel the chemistry. No. For anything in return. Well, we're good. Here, take this. Oh my god. She gave him the bat. You pack a wallop. Either you tell me where you got him, or I pull this trigger and your wife dies thinking you ran out, Hunter. Holy fuck. I mean, he obviously saves her, but he's gonna find out that she's dead when he comes home. Right? This ain't gonna be good. Please don't leave me like this, love. Fuck, man. She suffocated herself and took drugs. Damn, bro, that's fucking horrible. Bro, this is insane. I don't know if I could do it. The making of Lucille. Wrapping the bat with barbed wire. He can't kill her, so he's just gonna burn it down to the ground. See, I don't understand. Why are you beating up a fucking doctor for no reason? See, this is why these people don't deserve to be here. Woo! There it starts. This is gonna be insane. Woo! Can one of you idiots tell me what the hell is going on out there? Negan is what's happening. You're the last one, buddy. Bro. Oh my god. This time you best hope I never stop talking. Because when I do... When I do something bad... You know, I never killed him. That's our favorite song. You are so beautiful by the one and only Joe Cocker. And I go over <laughs> and I tell him that he owes me 50 cents. 50 cents. So I can replay the song. The song. And he can shut the hell up on this son of a bitch until he's not moving. Now, nobody's suing anybody. Nobody's getting fired. Hell, nobody's keeping score. See, I am starting to think that I am capable, capable of anything. Of damn near anything. Yep. Insane character. This is for not killing me. Shit. The bat broke. It's sitting there for years. It's rotting. Dude. I mean, this I love throws this so much sympathy towards Negan. Why he became what he was. I am gonna do your fighting for you. Retiring the bat. 
Oh shit, he's coming back. If you stay here, she will kill you. I just didn't want your death on my conscience. And... Oh boy, this is gonna start some crazy shit. I mean, I'm just in shock of what I just witnessed. By far, one, if not the at least top five best episodes of The Walking Dead ever. I mean, oh my god, what did I just watch? This episode was so freaking insane. So much Easter eggs, so much stuff going on, a lot of backstory we got on Negan, and just how crazy it is. You follow one character and you see how they began from the start of the apocalypse into where it is now. And it's just insane. I would love to see more episodes like this, where it's just background stories of other characters. I'm gonna give a shout out to Jeffrey Dean Morgan and um, his wife, Hilary Burton, who played uh, Lucille in this episode. The chemistry between them two, I mean, already is amazing because they're married. They're a real couple in real life. But on screen, together, oh my God. Was it, it, just, it just was intense. Every scene with them too, I was so gripped into it and it just kept going and going and going. This is one of the, I'm, in my opinion, it's one of the greatest episodes Walking Dead has ever made. Great shout out to Greg Nicotero. I think he might've directed it. I don't know who the director was of this certain episode, but usually Nic Nicotero does the finale. Seeing Negan makes you want to follow him from his story on because just how crazy it all started. I mean, he was just trying to get drugs for his wife. As soon as he seen her, um, when he came back, he knew what was what was happening. I knew what was happening. And like he said, he's gonna start seeing red. He just died recently in the show. I can't remember how. It was just so long time ago. But it, it was insane to see her come back in this episode and give him the bat, um, which became Lucille. He named the bat Lucille and put the barbed wire and gripped on to Negan. And what a great character he is in this show. Maggie being with that death stare, I mean, that was, that was insane. I mean, that stare looked like she just wanted to kill him, like, right there and then. I mean, his little smirk at her. I, I don't know where the story of Negan is going to go on from here. I mean, he just plays Negan insanely well on the TV show. And uh, I give a big shout outs for him on this episode. The emotions spiraling through his head. There's no other better person to get to play Lucille. His real life wife and like Hillary Burton was amazing in this episode. I mean, just amazing. And um, I mean, that's it for The Walking Dead in season 10. We're gonna get 24 episodes next season. And I can't wait to see where the story goes from here with the Commonwealth, with this Negan and Maggie storyline. And um, basically we already know the, the Carol Daryl teaser that they're going to end up being on a show together after The Walking Dead. So we're, we're going to get some more story with between them. There's a whole bunch of stuff still out there. Um, like Kelly. Never got to see Kelly come back. She's still with that one dude um, that Michonne went to that island with. Um, I hope to see her come back pretty soon um, in Season 11. Another thing, I heard Season 11 is coming out this summer instead of um, fall like they usually do in October. Uh, since it's extended episodes, we're getting 24 instead of the original, like, 16 they do every every year. Um, but, I mean, wow. One of the greatest episodes Walking Dead has put out. These last two seasons with the new showrunner has been insane. But this episode, just by far, is one of, in my opinion, one of the greatest episodes of Walking Dead history. And uh, I hope they continue this streak um, going into the last season. And um, beyond that, I mean, we get Rick movies... We're getting Fear of the Walking Dead to continue, and uh, just a bunch more. I mean, I'm just excited with all this content coming out uh, Walking Dead-wise, and uh, wow. I mean, just what an episode. Uh, but other guys, if you like this video, if you like, comment, subscribe, and always, have a great day.